Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our Asian snacks haul slash taste test video. If this is your first time watching, then you definitely would have not seen our first video, which was a huge Asian market haul, I guess. We were going to try everything in that video, but we didn't actually realize how much we got. And so the video turned out to be super long. And so we decided to rather taste test all of our snacks and what we got and what we actually wanted to show on camera in a separate video. <laughs> That's a long story. So I don't know if you guys saw it already or if it's going to be posted after this, but I actually made a vegan and gluten free ramen for myself. So that is like a short video. I don't know if you saw it before this. If it is before this, then definitely go and check it out. Otherwise, it will be posted next week. For today, we have five snacks, okay? Sajil can introduce the sweet stuff if she wants. This is a mooncake. Whoa, this is a mooncake. Sorry, the lighting is a bit iffy. This is a mooncake with strawberry cream. And like, I can't wait to pop this. That, that's what I've been waiting for since the day we got it. This is a bagel filled with red bean paste. That's supposed to be like a sweet, like, flavor and rich flavor so it's very common in most asian countries mm. to have black bean or red bean as a filling in dessert so we've never tried that especially so mm. i mean any of this but never red bean and this is a cream puff bread and if you can see in the picture i don't know if you can see there there's like a custard filling and then we got two savory snacks and the first one is a uh, Samyang popcorn snack. We don't know what the flavor is, uh, but if you don't know, Samyang is the same company that make a lot of the ramen that you see, like all the ones that made, you know, the spicy noodle challenge, the pink one, the pink one that's really common with people who don't like spice, all of that, that's made by the same company. And so they have these popcorn snacks that is halal, vegan, and as I said, I really don't know what flavor it is. So this is going to be a surprise. So and then the other thing that we have is, well, I really didn't understand anything. It's yeah. rice cake. It's, it's like chips. Yeah, it's like rice cake chips with edamame. Flavoring. Flavoring. <laughs> but we haven't tried this, so this is quite new. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is the moon cake that has a strawberry cream. So this is how it looks. It looks like two cakes actually put together. So I'm assuming the filling is like in the ridges. And the top, it's so soft that like, if you know what Madeira cake is, it has a similar texture to that. This is how it looks. I have a side of the face that I was throwing off the lighting. You can see there's the filling in the middle and the two pieces of cake as well. Let's try it, but it looks so <laughs> spongy, like so spongy. Okay, let's try it. You know when it Whoa. gets here, like it gets in here and it's like stinging. It's literally so soft. I feel like I'm chewing on a cloud. But I just don't like the texture of the cream. <laughs> the cream as well is super airy and like very flavorsome as well. But like the actual cake, it's like something that you'd get like at a patisserie. It's so spongy. It has a good vanilla like taste. But yo, it's so nice. So like this you can see it like breaks up with and some then, tea or coffee yeah this is like a perfect tea time snack actually out of five i would give this like a four and a half. Oh, we're rating yes let me just close my eyes i'd give it a four yeah it is very very good if you can get your hands on this definitely do but it's so good and so fluffy and you know sometimes like like store bought cakes that come in like packets can be dry this is like tastes like a freshly baked cake next <laughs> okay the next one we're going to be trying it's like a, the bagel with the red bean filling which i think i'm the most excited for this because I'm the most scared. it's like definitely a polarizing flavor i think like you can either love Red bean or hated, that's what at least I'm when I've heard it from people. I'm cutting a super small so. flavor. I mean, <laughs> I'm cutting a super small piece for me. <laughs> Please look, it looks like it's not like it's frog at all. <laughs> it's so perfect. Like, this smells like, smells like bread. 
bread. <laughs> but yeah, like, but like in a good way. Like we love this kind of bread. Like yeah. this is how it looks. So there's red bean in the middle. Yeah. I'm so scared. <laughs> it like smells very savory. That is what I will say. So. But it's supposed to be like a dessert. Like the bean is, ex it's, it's like very, very smooth as well. So let's see. Yeah. So scared. Hmm. I can't really taste it. It's just getting stuck to my palate. I love you like this. It has like a cinnamon taste to it, like um. But it's a bit, a bit sweet, like this. Yeah, like, I, I think I could have. Yeah, I'm a very big sweet person. Yeah, I also like, I can't take a lot of sweet things. Like it's like feel like too sweet to eat, like almost immediately. That's why like, I can only have one piece of chocolate. Yeah, I'm like fine. I mean, I'm happy as well. But no, <laughs> but it is very nice. It has like the same textures, like overall, like the same together. It has the same textures and flavors of like a donut and I just don't like the paste feeling like it like yeah it feels like smushed beans no it doesn't I don't you make beans smushed and like beans, beans are like chunkier this is very smooth like, like I will show you guys so that I have some here it's extremely extremely smooth like it's not I that is the only way I could show I know. it okay I, I think that if you like chocolate donuts you'll actually like this because it tastes like the uh, the texture actually of the red bean itself tastes like the icing and uh, has a texture of icing on donuts but this is really good i would give this also like a four and a half out of five but i think it's a three point five i think like it's like a very very filling especially if you're not like used to eating it i think like if you grew up in korea japan eating more red bean you maybe will be more accustomed to having it so sweet but yeah, I really like this. 4.5 for me as well. Definitely after having that, I feel for this. Because like, if I have something oh, that's try, very sweet. You want something savory first and then this. Yeah, because usually when I have something very sweet, I feel for savory. And if I eat too much savory, I'll feel for sweet. So this is why I want to try a savory, one of the savory snacks. So we're going to try the Samyang popcorn. Oh lord. Please. There you go. <laughs> Bro, it's hard. That is definitely something I was not expecting. It like it's has bad. no, it yeah. has like the sweet smell to it. So maybe it's like a sweet and salty. I'm not a sweet person. Like, but I, I could be wrong. Like, let me smell. Oh god! Wait, it's like a strange smell. It's like, do wait, it's too. reminding me of something. This lid. <laughs> reminds me like when you open confectionery sugar and like you can smell that but at the same time it it's smells like, like jumping jacks yeah it's like a salt and sweet that's why i say it's like a salt and sweet yeah, that is salt. It. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like a, oh my god okay there it's better in front this of my face brand of that popcorn i will put up the picture here yeah, yeah uh, it's like the blue packet of like puffed popcorn yeah. that we used to get at like a spaza shop or something that you know loki is the best popcorn well, your grandmother sends you for your dove trip back like, yeah bro. we used to be obsessed with like this kind of pop thing so i'm so sorry that threw me way the off the texture <laughs> no not the texture the first flavor was like sweet bro i'm so <laughs> Okay, so I have an, a perfect way to explain what this tastes like. I know what this you're tastes saying. like bubble or like colored popcorn, but it's not like sickly sweet. Like, like I feel like I could have this. That was. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect anyone. Casual is like awesome. very um, sensitive also to like textures. I think. Mm. Oh, very nice. Mm. I give this a five because. As I said, I don't I like really was expecting something savory. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It's something very, very different. Like, it didn't really taste sweet like, when we put it on. But then it turned savory. What did I you give it? I don't to disrespect anyone because I started out. It was just because I was caught off guard. But I give it a 2.9. What? Taste, no, no. And, taste and texture. The surprise threw me off. Oh, look at that, I made a little entryway! 
<laughs> okay, first impression is B. Oh, okay. Oh, bro, this is so cute. It's like fur. It's like puffs. It's so cute. So some of them are puffed and some of them are like a bit more detail-like. You'll be like. the style of this one. Sorry, you got it on your nose. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really have Yeah, the word with me. <laughs> like a distinct smell, so I guess cute. Oh god. I'm red so much. Whoa. So this chip also reminds me of something. These are very like unique it. flavors. Like But this is definitely still sweet for me. Like it tastes like Yeah. Like I don't know, there's a certain, just keep on eating and maybe it'll come to you. I know. It also is like a bit nostalgic with the flavor, but I can't think of it. But the best way that I can describe the texture is like... Samosa pie. If you've had samosa pie or like the samosa pastry by itself, once it's like fried and hardened, it is a bit thicker than that. But like when you pan <clears> through it and like chew it, it has the same texture. The taste is something so unique. I don't know why it has edamame on the front. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be like edamame and like but then what's this? sweet cream. Bro. Yeah, I'm also wondering. Because like at the bottom, I you guys can that. see, it has like a cream looking thing. Wait, hide your face, guys. Cover your face. Why is it my face? It like, I'm just so proud. <laughs> I'm like at a loss for words with how to describe the taste, but again, it's like a perfect crossover between salty and sweet. Oh my god, I know what this tastes like. What? Our family friend, Atisali, shout out to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she gave us these avos. She grows them in her garden, like the mm. best avos, so creamy, and mm. they're huge. And they taste like naturally sweet, like they don't, you don't need to have like sugar or like condensed milk with it. I don't think I can relate this to anything it just came to that's me. already like on the market from like a normal South African like supermarket. I would also give this maybe like a also a four and a half, a four, four and a half. I'd give it a three, three point five. Just because like I feel like it's such a unique flavor. And it's definitely something that can satisfy your craving for something sweet without being overly um, sweet. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I but it a three, three point five if you have sweet had dish. these before, please let me know what flavoring it is because I can't taste edamame. I'm and I, I'll translate it. And I go. definitely think this is not rice <laughs> like we thought initially. Uh, yeah, so I rated a 3, 3.5 because it has like a tad bit more of like a sweeter flavor and I said before I'm not that big of a fan. Sorry, we didn't realize all of this was going to be sweet. The next thing we're going to be trying is the custard filled bread or Sigel says it's a cream puff pastry. I think she probably cream knows bread. that thing. And inside it's custard from the name. And the way that the picture looks, the bread looks like it is brioche bread. So I have a feeling even the bread is going to be sweet. But then I mean okay, you know what? At this point, like there we go. Okay, this looks different from the picture. Um it's no, not just, really. Like it that's literally cheese, bro. This is like the picture, except it just doesn't have that like ridges. Ridges. It looks like literally a squished up roll. <laughs> like you know like when you had that lunch that's been sitting in your bag for like thousands of years. Yeah, that's what it looks like. No, yeah. So, this is how it looks. Okay. This is how it looks. <laughs> if you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting just doesn't agree with that. So, I'll cover your face. Okay. There oh, you go. God. You guys can kind of see there's like a yellow um, thing in the middle. Okay, you can touch it. Oh my god, this is so hot, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not the biggest custard fan in general, but I do like Japanese pancakes or Chinese pancakes. If you've ever had Bro, those, those are like supreme. They're like 
to play pancake, but they call Japanese pancakes at least during the baking that we got them. And they're like these huge, like, like you literally start. No, <laughs> oh, I thought you ate it. No, <laughs> I thought you started it out for you. Anyway, so I like the cutter in that. So if this is the same, then I mean, maybe we're supposed to warm it up, but I guess we'll never know. Okay. So, first of all, when I smelt it, the bread. The bun. <laughs> the bun smells like the bagel one. And this look, this custard. I think the bun looks, has a different smell. It smells like a KFC bun. Look, yes, that's it. But that's what kind of melt on top. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to be disgusting with Vera. And I took a piece of the custard in my hand. And like, it's not like very custard, it's like very gelatinous, like if I can mm. say. Which I yeah, don't know how I'm going to feel. It's like, a, yeah, like a thawed butter, sort of. Okay. Please, why would you? Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ, come and show me. Mm. Man, this is very nice. The custard has a similar, it doesn't have like that overly eggy, milky taste that a lot I don't of know custards what do. You've been having that it's overly eggy. Not eggy, but when you don't like something, you definitely can can tell mm. what ingredients are in there to make oh. you not like it. And I'm not the biggest fan of milk and egg, and that's like two quarters of the recipe of of custard. And so when I have when like my family has like custard or ultra mal or things like that, like I don't have that with cake and things like that. This I would definitely also drink like a fork. It's amazing, but I also can only probably eat like a quarter because the custard is quite rich um the bread it's like a standard roll texture of the custard it's it like <laughs> texture of the custard is extremely smooth but like also firm so pretty cool and yeah overall a four five five <laughs> i think this is Seidel's favorite as you could see from her reaction this is her favorite from all of five that we tasted. So overall, I think Asian snacks have a very unique flavor profile. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they like very, very unique. But I think a lot of you would have already guessed that with the fact that they use things like purple yam, taro, um, edamame, wakami, uh, what's the other thing? Red bean, black bean, and a lot of their desserts and like snacks just add normal flavorings. And so I was really excited for that. So that's <laughs> I end the first half of this video. So it is now a few days later and it's like, I think 34, 35 degrees in South Africa. And my family and I wanted to have the ice cream, but then I forgot that I said that I will rate it for you guys. So I'm going to do that. The first one that I'll try is the coconut one. Let me just quickly try it. Oh, and it's gluten free. So. Okay, well, it's supposed to look like a huge block, but obviously it's got melted, so this is what it looks like. Mm. Already a 5 out of 5 if you love coconut. It is like ice cream, but the texture is a lot firmer, but in a good way. And the taste is so nice. That is a 5 out of 5. What I was really excited for, I mean, I know what coconut ice cream tastes like, was this one. Which is by the same brand, but it's purple yam or ube flavor, which I explained in my haul video. I'm actually just going to wash my hands. And all those purple ice cream videos that you see on like Instagram and YouTube, chances are it's ube flavored. And I didn't know where to get it in South Africa. And then I found it at the market that we went to. This is such a big way, but again, it got melted. The smell is so nice. It's like coconutty and like white chocolate type of smell, like how taro smells. That's how it smells. So I'm extremely excited for this. So. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like taro if you had it to like a coconutty white chocolate sort of taste. 
but it's a vegetable. So this is definitely, I think, sweeter than taro. Also a 5 out of 5. I've never had ube before, so and this is extremely exciting. So both of these, if you can find the brand Malona and find them, I think they have like, I think they said they have strawberry, melon flavored, pineapple, and then obviously coconut and ube. Definitely, definitely go and try it out. One of the next days we ended up trying star fruit which given its name when you cut it it looks like a star which you'll see here but the flavor of this was so refreshing and it felt healthy but in a good way it was like a cross between a lemon and a pear and like a bit of pineapple and grape definitely a very unique flavor profile and I've said that so many times throughout this video but if you can get your hand on star fruit definitely do apparently it has amazing benefits for your health too these tofu vegetable gyozas that i made in the air fryer were super delicious four and a half out of five so today is the last day of our taste test video today we are going to be tasting the iced mochi which i'm going to oh my lord try and show you here we got the strawberry and the mango brand. If you hear any background noises, it is just that we are having a thunderstorm and my dog is also going ballistic. But we said this is the last segment we have for filming for you guys. So we're going to try and do it before the actual storm starts. So first we are going to be starting with the mango one. Sigil and I have never ever had mochi before. So, oh, this is so cute. Okay, wow, that is so cute. So, you guys can kind of see it there. There's like a layer of the mochi on the top, and then there's ice cream in the middle. Wait, I didn't even get my piece onto my spoon. The texture of the actual mochi kind of tastes like the pearls you get in boba but like the, but this this cup this cup though mm, but it's gonna like hurt my teeth and then the ice cream it tastes like a mango lassi this is wonderful i would give this like maybe a four out of five huh? <laughs> my mom said to explain what a mango lassi is so, hear her loud whispering. <laughs> so if you've been to an indian restaurant then maybe you would have heard of it but it's a very popular Indian street and restaurant drink that basically made from whatever fruit you want in this case mango and like ice cream and cream and extra sugar syrups and things like that and it's blended together and it makes like it's like an Indian milkshake that's the best way that I can describe it and it's wonderful but I can like only have three sips because it's very very sweet so yeah I would give this a four out of five because I'm also not the biggest fan of the mochi, the actual like mochi. Um, I'm a very texture texture. Person. I think we've said that like seven times in the video. Like I can have a little bit of it, but I think like if I were to have like actual mochi without like I, the ice cream, in, I think my teeth would start to hurt. But I think it's still like super nice inside. You. I give it a three point five. So low. Three point five is just for the ice cream flavor. Okay, so this is basically the same thing. I don't know if you guys can see this. The lighting is just not where it does. But it's exactly the same as this mango one that we had, except it's obviously pink. But and it's, in it's a strawberry and flavor. And it's strawberry <laughs> flavor, obviously. But I was talking about like look. The mochi definitely has more of a powderiness. I kind of like that. Just strawberry ice cream. It's it a brings really a nostalgic flavor. Like it's nostalgic, but it's not like a, a typical this strawberry so flavor. This one's fine. It's a very strange strawberry flavor. I feel the strawberry flavor could have been maybe a bit more stronger because I only think I can say it's strawberry because I know it's strawberry, but I feel like if I didn't know what flavor it was and I didn't know what color it was, I don't think I'd be able to say it's strawberry. It's a very different kind of strawberry flavor, but it's also very subtle. 
So I would give this like a three and a half, just because I feel like the salty flavor could have came through a lot more. So I would definitely go for the mango one if you're looking to try out mochi for the first time. What's your final rating out of the five? The same. The same. So you like both them equally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would, as I said, go for the mango one a lot more. That is the end of this video. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely leave a comment of which one you think would be your favorite or leave a comment of which ones you have tried and if you like them and if you didn't like them. I definitely encourage you, ow, I definitely encourage you guys to go and try and look at the Korean markets or Asian markets around your place and try something new. Definitely also share this video with anyone else who loves food or loves like the Korean and Asian cooking in general. Hope you guys have a wonderful week full of lots of love, happiness, light, positivity and amazing new food. Love you guys. Bye.